Hello friends, my name is Jenny and I'm the guest experience and administrative assistant at Tippett Rice Art Center, located in Fishtail, Montana. Today I'm on the Nauman Trail, one of the many trails here at Tippett Rise that you can hike or bike on to explore the art center. Looking at the plants, bugs, and wildlife, I see the balance in nature and how one side of, let's say, a leaf or a wing reflects the other. Today, we're going to use art materials to create our very own colorful butterflies that are symmetrical. Let's go inside the schoolhouse and learn how. For this project, you will need paper, scissors, paint, a paintbrush, and a marker. The first step in this project is to fold your paper and to think about something that's symmetrical in nature. Symmetrical meaning that one side is identical to the other. And there are lots of things that are symmetrical in nature. Maybe it's an animal, a leaf, a plant, or maybe it's a flower or a bug. Today, we're going to create butterflies because they are so fun and colorful. So what you wanna do first is take your folded piece of paper and you wanna trace out half of a butterfly. So think about what a butterfly looks like. You have a head, you have these two beautiful wings, you know, one's usually a little larger than the other. And you're gonna trace that shape down to that kind of narrow body at the end until you have your fully traced shape. Then you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut out that shape. And it doesn't have to be exactly precise. Once you cut your shape out, what do you think that other shape's gonna be on the other side? Is it gonna be symmetrical like a butterfly in nature? Once you have your shape totally cut out, you can open up your paper and reveal your entire butterfly, which is looking great. Except now we wanna paint it and make it nice and colorful. And it can be as unique and colorful as you are. So what we wanna do is we wanna take some paint and you can use whatever color you'd like. And we're gonna open our paints up and we're gonna do some big circles right where those wings are. I'm gonna do a blue color and then I'm gonna add some white in the center. A couple dots in there. Next, I wanna do my other wing. So this time I wanna use a different color. I'm gonna use red. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do a big outline where that wing is. I'm gonna add a dot right at the tip, and then I'm gonna add a little highlight color, some yellow. I'm gonna do a splash of yellow in there. And once again, I'm gonna go in with my white to mimic my other wing and add some dots there as well. For my body, I'm gonna just do a solid blue color down the center. Once I have my paint, I'm going to take my paintbrush. I'm gonna swirl that paint around a little bit just to spread it out, not very much, once again, doesn't have to be exact. Once I have my paint spread out, I'm gonna take my paper, I'm gonna fold it together, and then I'm gonna press down. And this paint might gush a little bit, so make sure that you're doing this on a napkin or a surface you don't mind cleaning, but it will gush out a little, so I'm gonna press down, make sure I'm pressing down along the entire body, where those wings are. Once I feel like my paint is all squished out, I'm going to open up my butterfly, revealing my beautiful, colorful, and symmetrical butterfly wings. At this point, you can add some finishing touches or you can just let it dry as is. Once it's dry, you can hang it by a string and let it flutter around your room or use it as a window decoration. You can also use these same steps to craft other symmetrical designs in nature or create your own. We hope that you've enjoyed going out into nature and creating with us today. Thanks for watching. For more videos, go to our YouTube channel. For more information about Tippett Rise Art Center, go to www.tippettrise.org.